this fancy $3,000 machine can make espresso. But then again, so can this $20 mocha pot. Now, to be sure, the stovetop espresso made from this guy is not the same as the coffee made with a high pressure espresso machine, but can it be good enough? Well, to find out, I'm going to employ some mocha pot best practices to compare a mocha pot espresso to the real thing and put the brews to a side by side test. So let's start with the mocha pot. It consists of the base, which is the bottom part that holds the water. The base also has a pressure relief valve to prevent excess pressure from building. Then there's the filter, which is a funnel shaped piece that holds the ground coffee. And then there's the upper chamber. This is the top part of the mocha pot where the brewed coffee collects. And the upper chamber has a gasket that helps create a tight seal and prevent leaks. And it works using steam. As the water in the base begins to boil, steam pressure builds up in the base and forces the hot water through the coffee grounds and then into the upper chamber. Now, first things first, let's start with some fresh, high quality coffee beans. Grind them to a medium coarse consistency, not too fine, or you might clog the filter. Next, fill the bottom chamber with hot water from a kettle to just below the pressure valve. Hot water from a kettle works best rather than heating cold water on the stove as this method helps reduce extraction time and potential bitterness in the finished coffee. Place the funnel shaped filter in the center of the base and fill it with your freshly ground coffee. Fill the filter to the top, but don't tamp. Leave the grinds loose. Overfilling the filter or tamping can create too much resistance for the water to flow through and again result in over extraction and bitterness. Now place the mocha pot on the stove and watch it do its thing. As the pressure builds, coffee will collect into the upper chamber. When you hear whistling, it's time to stop. Run the base under cold water to halt the extraction and yes, prevent excess bitterness. Now for the espresso machine, you'll want to grind much finer in this case. A traditional espresso machine uses a pump to force hot water through the coffee grounds and it does that at a pressure of around 9 bar or 130 psi. In contrast, a mock pot generates steam pressure of around 1 to 1.5 bar, so 14 to 21 psi. So more pressure means you can use a finer grind. Tamp the grounds coffee and pour. So let's compare the two. Now the base of this mocha pot is hot. So I'm using this mocha pot stand from Hexnub, which has a cork heat resistant mat to save my table and uh, some storage space down below as well. Now if we compare the appearances to these two espressos, the one made at high pressure has crema on the top, the mocha pot does not. Let's give it a sniff. Yeah, with the espresso, this does such a good job of pulling out the flavor of the beans in this case. It's really kind of a, a, a light chocolate flavor, a little bit of roastiness. The mocha version has quite a pleasant aroma too, but it loses a little bit of the sweetness. I'm picking up a little bit more on a sort of nutty aroma with this one. Crazy that these are made with the same beans. Now, the higher pressure in an espresso machine creates a more concentrated and intense flavor in the final product compared to coffee brewed by a mocha pot. And really the coffee produced by a mocha pot is not considered true espresso. So I'm really interested now to give these a try and see how close they are. Okay, first of all, the regular espresso. Delicious. But how about the mocha pot? Well, before we get into flavor profiles, the mocha pot coffee is hotter. I brewed this at 90 Celsius on the espresso machine. This was obviously boiled, because that's what created the steam, and that's resulted in a, a hotter drink. So yeah, the, the taste is different, and it is along the guidelines of what I expected. It's not quite as full a flavor, as rich a flavor as the espresso, but it's also not at all bitter. I think the best practices that I employed in brewing this has really helped to reduce the bitterness. And this is actually a really delicious espresso. I enjoy this one. And I think, you know, if you adding this to a milk-based drink, so a cappuccino, a latte, something like that, probably the difference would be even less apparent to you. There is a difference between these two. You might prefer the mocha over the espresso or the other way around. It's subjective, but I'm very surprised at how well this can brew a smooth, good tasting cup of coffee. 
20 bucks.